In 2026, the automotive world is about to be turned upside down. And the name behind this earthquake is Tesla. Elon Musk has finally confirmed what many have doubted for years. The Model 2 will be launched later this year with a base price of just $15,990. For those expecting a price closer to the $25,000 promised back then, this price cut almost sounds like a provocation to the entire market. And more than that, it sounds like a rallying cry. After all, no other electric car with this level of technology has ever come close to this price range. The long-range version, with 310 miles of range, will cost around $20,000, and that's putting even combustion engine models on the defensive. With this announcement, Musk not only surprised his critics, he forced them to rethink their entire argument. Traditional automakers are rushing to revise their spreadsheets, while Chinese giants like BYD, once confident with their $10,000 electric vehicles, now face a real threat. Because selling cheap is one thing. Selling cheap with quality, autonomy, advanced software, and the Tesla seal is another. The promise isn't just price. It's a premium experience within everyone's reach. And in this game, whoever sets the price most intelligently takes the cake. And Tesla is playing with a stacked deck. It's not just the price that's shaking things up. The timing was spot on. With the world still reeling from the chip crisis and the return of inflation in some countries, bringing a fully-fledged Tesla to market for under $16,000 sounds like a masterstroke. Especially since, unlike other launches, the Model 2 is already ready. Musk revealed that the first models have already rolled off the production line in Giga, Texas, and the company plans to scale production in record time. This means this isn't a speculative announcement. The car exists, is being tested, and will be available later this year. It's as if Elon had waited for the perfect moment to drop this bombshell. Just when competitors seem to be gaining ground with affordable models like the BYD Dolphin or the Renault 5, he comes up with something that not only beats them on price, but also on reputation, safety, and global support. The supercharger network, over-the-air software updates, the autopilot system, all included even in the base model. This completely changes how people will view the value for money of an electric car. And it also changes the profile of the average Tesla buyer, which now ranges from college students to middle-class families anywhere in the world. It's curious to note how something that seemed impossible until recently now seems inevitable. A Tesla for $15,990 has been called fantasy, delusional, and even a marketing hoax. But now that the moment has arrived, the tone has changed. Experts are already predicting an explosion of pre-sales. Some internal estimates suggest millions of reservations in the first few weeks, easily surpassing what happened with the Model 3 in 2016. And unlike then, Tesla now has the structure to deliver, and quickly. This leaves many wondering if the market is truly prepared for this kind of avalanche. While the market is still trying to understand how Tesla managed to cut the Model 2's price so much, the answer may lie in something that sounds like something out of a science fiction documentary, the 50,000-ton Gigapress. This mechanical monstrosity is, in practice, the heart of the company's new production strategy. Instead of assembling a car with dozens of small, welded parts, the Model 2 is built from a single, giant block of cast aluminum. It's as if, instead of assembling a 70-piece puzzle, someone decided to print the entire picture at once. The result? Less time, less cost, less human error, and more scale. The most intriguing thing about all this is Elon Musk's almost provocative confidence when talking about the process. He's already stated that no other manufacturer will be able to replicate this production line in the coming years. This is because the secret lies not only in the machine, but in the entire integration chain between software, robotics, logistics, and casting. While others still debate how to reduce the number of workers or automate the painting process, Tesla is already casting the entire rear of the car in seconds. 
as if preparing an aluminum tray ready for the oven. This has a direct impact on production speed. With the current Gigapress, Tesla is able to manufacture the Model 2 at a rate that leaves even highly efficient Asian factories reeling. It's estimated that the average time to assemble a complete Model 2 will be less than one minute per unit. And with plans to expand the line to other Gigafactories, annual production could exceed 42 million units, something that, if confirmed, would represent the highest volume ever achieved by a single model in the history of the automotive industry. To give you an idea of the scale of this ambition, this is more than the combined production of the Model 3 and Model Y since their respective launches. And even more curious, Tesla isn't just accelerating production, it's rewriting the industry's industrial logic. While traditional brands still rely on suppliers spread across the globe, Tesla is internalizing processes, compacting assembly lines, and reducing steps to a minimum. This eliminates bottlenecks, shortens lead times, and lowers costs with surgical precision. It's no exaggeration to say that the Gigapress has become a symbol of Tesla's new phase. It's the physical embodiment of the idea of scale, efficiency, and total control over the production process. And this idea, contrary to what many believe, didn't come out of nowhere. It was inspired by Hot Wheels toys, when Elon questioned why a real car couldn't be made the same way a toy car was made, molded all at once. Sound crazy? Maybe. But this madness is shaping the most anticipated car of recent years. It's curious how, even with all the revolution in production and pricing, what has sparked the most heated debate among fans and critics is the Model 2's design. When it comes to an affordable Tesla, many imagine something completely new, with futuristic shapes, bold lines, and a concept look straight out of a science fiction film. But that's not what Elon Musk delivered. Instead of creating something from scratch, he went straight to the point. The Model 2 is essentially a more compact, streamlined, and streamlined version of the already renowned Model Y. A decision that may seem conservative, but hides strategic genius. The new model doesn't seek to impress with its unusualness, but rather with its efficiency. It maintains four doors, a functional silhouette, and conventional headlights. No eccentricities or expensive extravagances. And this is no coincidence. Everything was designed to cut costs, speed up production, and, at the same time, maintain the brand's visual identity. Anyone who sees a Model 2 on the street knows it's a Tesla. And this, in terms of branding, has enormous value. Even without the luxurious details of the more expensive models, the Model 2 carries that minimalist, clean, and technological DNA that has become the company's signature. From the outside, the lines are smooth, the hood is short, and the look conveys simplicity and purpose. There's no excess embellishment, cutouts, or textures. Everything appears to have been sculpted with a single, direct, and objective gesture. The wheels are smaller, the headlights are discreet, and the rear end clearly resembles the Model Y. But with leaner dimensions, it's as if they took the current model, compressed the sides, and removed any decorative touches. The result may not draw designers' breath, but it's convincing for its balance of aesthetics, function, and cost. Inside, the same logic applies. Less is more. The dashboard remains dominated by a single central screen, Physical buttons are virtually non-existent, and the materials, though simpler, still maintain a decent standard of finish. In the base version, the seats are cloth, the sound system is more basic, and the panoramic roof disappears. But the feeling of being in a Tesla remains, which is a feat in itself. After all, few affordable cars manage to maintain that premium aura, even when the specs offer more economical options. The commitment to a more familiar design also meets a practical need, reducing the public's adaptation time and avoiding unnecessary risks. When manufacturing millions of units per year, any complication in the process, be it a difficult-to-mold door angle or a non-standard glass curvature, 
can result in millions in losses. By following a more rational design based on proven practices, Tesla eliminates this margin of error and ensures a smooth transition between expectations and delivery. When you take a closer look at the Model 2's interior, you quickly realize that the design simplification was not only intended to cut costs, but also to improve the vehicle's overall energy efficiency. The first sign of this is the new 48-volt electrical architecture. By abandoning the outdated 12V systems used for decades in virtually every car in the world, Tesla made a technical leap that, at first glance, might go unnoticed. But the change is enormous. This new architecture requires less current to power the car's electronic systems, allowing for the use of thinner, lighter, and cheaper cables. This weight reduction of dozens of meters of internal wiring already brings significant savings in energy consumption and directly impacts range. But it doesn't stop there. The Model 2's engine is also a notable advancement. A 224 kilo asynchronous motor, about 300 horsepower, takes the car from 0 to 100 km in just 5.6 seconds. And all this with a consumption of just 15 kilowatt per 100 kilometers. For the uninitiated, this means the Model 2 consumes 25% less energy than the average current electric vehicle in the same category. Less fuel consumption, more range. A combination that's hard to beat. This new powertrain isn't just impressive for its raw numbers, but for how it's been optimized for durability. While conventional engines last an average of 200,000 kilometers, this new engine promises a lifespan of 300,000 kilometers. That's about 20 years of regular use before any concerns about replacement or mechanical failures. And as if that weren't enough, Tesla also managed to reduce the use of silicon carbide in the drivetrain by 75%, a very expensive material, but essential for electric performance. Even so, the Model 2 maintained its full performance. A true engineering miracle. All this efficiency doesn't come from the engine or electrical system alone. It's the whole package. The lighter structure thanks to GigaPress, the vehicle's smaller frontal area, streamlined aerodynamics, and the state-of-the-art energy regeneration system all work together to make the most of every watt stored in the battery. And that's what really matters when you want to make a car affordable. Affordability only lasts long term if the vehicle is cheap to maintain, cheap to recharge, and above all, reliable under any conditions. Another little discussed but extremely important aspect is the Model 2's interior climate control. The new heating and cooling system is more compact and efficient, using less battery power to keep the cabin comfortable. In cold or very hot climates, this energy efficiency can be the difference between reaching your destination and running out of charge. This attention to detail shows that, even though it's an entry-level model, the Model 2 wasn't rushed or made with second-rate solutions. If there's one thing that's always kept electric car drivers awake at night, it's charging time. And that's precisely where Tesla decided to attack with full force in the Model 2. A partnership with KATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, allowed the use of a new generation of LFP batteries called Shenxing, which offer a bold promise, charging from 10% to 80% in just 10 minutes, even in extremely low temperatures. This puts the Model 2 at a level few vehicles, even luxury ones, can achieve. And the most impressive thing is that all of this will be offered in a 15,990 Dakar. The standard Model 2 will come equipped with a 53 key Tele Tidrabwad battery, while the long-range version will have 55 Tidari Bider Sinfil. While the difference may seem small, it directly impacts the overall range. 280 miles for the base model and 310 miles for the most advanced. But what's really drawing attention is the energy density and durability of these new cells. Shenxing cells withstand over a thousand fast charge cycles with minimal losses, meaning users can quickly charge the car for over 200,000 miles without fear of significant degradation. These batteries aren't just fast, they're also safer. 
Because they're made with lithium iron phosphate, LFP cells have a lower risk of fire, even in the event of a collision or overheating. This raises the Model 2's safety bar, making it more reliable for families and urban users who want performance without sacrificing peace of mind. And, as if that weren't enough, the use of less precious materials, such as cobalt, has been virtually eliminated, making the manufacturing process more ethical and environmentally responsible. Another fascinating detail is that these batteries are being produced locally at Tesla's Nevada facility, which drastically reduces dependence on imports and cuts logistical costs. This also helps keep the car's final price within the target of $15,990, even with the progressive end of federal subsidies in the U.S. In other words, what once seemed impossible, a fast-charging, affordable, and safe car, is now becoming the new normal, and that should give many competitors sleepless nights. The impact of this is brutal on consumers' daily lives. Instead of planning long breaks on trips or relying on slow chargers in parking lots, a Model 2 owner can stop for 10 to 15 minutes at a supercharger and continue their journey without hassle. That's about the same time it takes to get a cup of coffee. And with Tesla's charging network expanding rapidly, including in rural areas and regions underserved by competitors, the competitive advantage becomes even clearer. Among all the details that made the Model 2 a phenomenon even before its official launch, one seems to have come straight from a futuristic laboratory. Elon Transparent Aluminum Glass. That's right, Tesla decided to replace traditional glass with a material that until recently was considered exclusive to military and aerospace applications. Elon, also known as aluminum oxynitride, is the same material used in the windows of the Starship spacecraft, and now, for the first time in history, it's found its way into the windows of a popular car. The idea seems crazy at first glance, but it makes perfect sense within Elon Musk's bold logic. Elon is as light as ordinary glass, but has superior strength even to traditional armored glass. A panel just 0.4 centimeter or thick can withstand impacts from a 50 caliber projectile, the type of ammunition used in heavy military weapons. The difference? While normal armored glass would need more than 9 centimeter thick to withstand the same impact, Elon achieves this while being lighter and, surprisingly, more transparent. The combination of extreme strength with lightness and visual clarity sounds like something out of an Iron Man movie, but now it's part of Tesla's entry-level car. But why put this on a 15 dollars car? The answer is simple. Safety, durability, and long-term cost savings. Elon Glass is virtually immune to scratches, cracks, sudden temperature changes, and even ultraviolet radiation. This means less maintenance, fewer replacements, less insurance, and more peace of mind for the car owner. Even in the event of minor impacts, such as rocks on the road or light vandalism, the glass resists, remains intact, and prevents cracks that would require costly replacements. Of course, this kind of technology doesn't come cheap. A square meter of Elon can cost anywhere from $1,400 to $2,000, depending on the purity and treatment of the material. So how did Tesla manage to fit this into such an aggressively priced car? Simple. It won't be standard on all models. Elon will be offered as a premium option, primarily on long-range models or in specific packages. This way, the company keeps the entry price intact but allows more demanding customers to add this technology if they wish, and at much lower prices than any current armor. Another interesting point is the aesthetic impact of this glass. Because it's extremely smooth, without ripples or imperfections, 